this startup plans to get the first self-driving tractor to market by the end of the year. There are over 2 million farms in America, and they're experiencing a severe labor shortage. When we have a lack of labor, um, we can't do business. And um, not being able to do business, we can't, can't feed America, essentially. Silicon Valley-based Bear Flag Robotics wants to help. We have to increase productivity 70% by 2050. So how are these growers supposed to stay in business with their labor crisis, yet also increase productivity by 70% to feed the world population? Bear Flag says its tech will eventually allow one person to operate an entire fleet of tractors. And the machines could even work throughout the night. Right now, we only operate about 8 to 10 hours a day six days a week. If I could work 24-7, day and night, that'd be a 64% increase in productivity. While some farm workers may have reason to worry about automation taking their jobs, the founders in Bennett say farms will always have a need for more skilled labor. One of the important things we're doing actually is taking the skilled labor out of these mundane and sometimes unsafe jobs like driving tractors and putting them in places where they're more useful, like, for example, fixing irrigation, looking after diseased crops, or maintaining the tractors themselves. Companies like Deere and Case are also working on autonomous farm equipment. But the founders say Bear Flag's small size will allow them to move rapidly. They want to bring the first self-driving tractor that doesn't require a person in the cab to market this year. Initially, the company will lease the tractors to farmers, but the price has not yet been set. The real goal is so that a grower can have an ROI in the first year that they use it. That's the only way technology like this will take off. In the future, the founders imagine farms as a harmonious collaboration between human and machine. So a, a tractor that's spraying will meet up with an autonomous um, filler truck that can go fill it up and come back with one person supervising all these operations. So a farm that originally would have taken 20 or, uh, or more people to operate can now be operated by just a handful of folks supervising the whole operation. Overall, I'm excited to see where Actic takes us, making us more competitive in the global marketplace helping us manage increasing overhead costs and just overall giving us the ability to keep feeding America with American-grown produce at the affordable price that everyone's come to expect.